In this video, we're going to be discussing chemical equations. And chemical equations are just a way of showing or talking about what actually happens during a chemical reaction. So let's take a look at an example that we would all be familiar with of a chemical reaction. Let's say we take the substances, we take flour, we add sugar. Okay, sorry, we add sugar. So we're going to say plus sugar. And we add to that uh, eggs. You ha might have an idea what I'm trying to make here by mixing together flour, sugar, and eggs. Uh, but basically what we do is we say that these three things, they react to make a cake. That's what we were trying to make was a cake. Flour plus eggs plus sugar equals cake. This thing here is called a word equation. A word equation because it describes using words what's going on in, a, in this particular chemical reaction. I want to show you the most common mistake that people make when they write word equations. Instead of an arrow, for some reason, students always make this mistake where they keep writing equals. Flour plus eggs plus sugar equals cake. Now, I want you to have a think about that for a second. We put flour, eggs, and sugar in a bowl. That does not equal cake. You do not want to eat that and hope that it's cake. It's just a runny, messy, sloppy mess. All right? It's definitely not cake. But if we put it in the oven and give it a bit of energy, then they definitely can react to make cake. So we must always draw an arrow and not an equal sign. Okay? So what this arrow means is reacts to make. That's a really important distinction. Now, in a word equation, we often have, uh, we have chemicals that we start with and chemicals that we finish with. The chemicals that we start with are always the ones that are written before the reaction arrow. So these ones on the left, they're always before the reaction. And we always call these things reactants. So these are reactants. And then the thing that we have left after the reaction happens, well, this is what we make. And another word for what we make is products. So we produce, so these are called the products. Now in this case, there's only one product, but sometimes there might be two or three or four, okay? But in this case, there's only one, but just know it doesn't always have to be one. So we have reactants and products and every word equation is gonna have this. Let's look at another one. Let's look at a real example using real chemicals. Let's say we took hydrogen and we added it to the oxygen and it reacted to make water. Okay, so I want you to think about it. I want you to try and think and just say to yourself in your head now, which are the reactants and which are the products? Okay, so hopefully what you were thinking is that the hydrogen and the oxygen, these things are the reactants. Uh, this here, the water, this here is the product. So again, you'll see how I'm actually showing you how to identify the reactants in the products. I'm doing this by drawing them up on top. You could write a little sentence below and say hydrogen and oxygen are the reactants, water is the product. But I like to do it like this. It's up to you. Uh, and this, again, is another word equation. You're going to try one now. So I want you to get a, a page and copy. And I'm going to write a, a description here of a chemical reaction. And I'm going to say that sodium reacts with chlorine to make sodium chloride. So I've written a, a sentence, a description of what's going on. I need you guys to do two things now. Number one, I want you to write a word equation for this reaction, a word equation. And number two, what I want you to do is I want you to identify the reactants and the products. Identify reactants and products. So I'm going to get you to pause the video and do those two tasks. Do that now, please. Okay, so this is what you should have done. You should only play in the video if you try to do this by yourself. Okay, so we're going to write down what we had. So if we look at the question, we reacted sodium and chlorine. Okay, this should have said chlorine, not chloride, sorry, chlorine. Okay, so again, change that name now if you need to. That was my mistake. So sodium plus chlorine to give sodium chloride. Okay, so this here is sodium. I should have written plus chlorine. 
react to give an arrow. It must be an arrow, not an equal sign. If you have an equal sign, you need to mark it wrong. Okay, react to give uh, sodium chloride. Okay, that's the correct one. So either uh, tick it or fix it. And then identify the reactants and the products. So you can use the kind of curly brackets like I did if you want. You can do it above or below. I'm going to do it below. These are the reactants. This here, this here, sodium chloride is the product. All right, so that is that. You now know how to write a word equation when you're given uh, the chemicals that are involved. So I think you guys are ready to do some practice now, okay? So uh, what I'm gonna get you to do is, I'm gonna get you to do questions 18 and down to 25. Hopefully none of them will cause too much of a problem for us. Um, so again, pause the video and do that now and I'll see you in the next lesson.